Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy foldable flip book. To make this craft today, you're going to need three pieces of paper. Now you will see that I have three different colors. That's just so that you can see them better, but you could use all the same color. You could also use three different colors. You could also use four pieces of paper, five pieces of paper for this, or you could use two pieces of paper. I'll just show you with three and then you can decide what you would like to do. Now, when I have my three pieces, first of all, these are all the same size. So they're all the same size piece. It doesn't really matter what size, as long as they're all the same size. Then I'm going to layer them. So this is my bottom one, and I'm gonna leave a little space, usually about two finger spaces. And then I'm going to leave another two finger spaces. Now, if you had more pieces of paper, you would probably leave less space, but because I have three, I can leave a bigger space here. So I'm gonna go back to that about two finger spaces. And once you make one book, you'll get the gist of it and know kind of what you want for your subsequent books. So I've left my space. I'm gonna hold my pieces together, holding, holding, and I'm going to bring this side over. So I'm gonna fold this side over, leaving the same space. So remember two fingers, two fingers, and about two, ah, try to hold those pieces together, about two fingers again, and you fold it over. Hopefully you can keep all those pieces nice and set together. I think because I wiggled them. There we go. I lost it, so let's just try that again. You can see how easy it is. If you make a mistake, just line them back up, hold them together, fold them over. There it is. And then push down on this side. And there you have your book. If you want it to stay nice and firm, I would suggest just using a stapler and stapling. Now, here's where if you want to switch it up, you could, instead of having this one large book, you could take it and cut it right in half. So you could take this large book, take your scissors and whoosht, cut right down here, and you will have two smaller books. Let me just show you what that is going to look like. So I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna look for the middle line, I can even fold it, just to show me where that middle line is. So I'm folding, that's gonna give me my cut line, and I'm gonna cut, so I have two smaller books. Just make sure if you are cutting that you have a staple on the sides that you are cutting. So let's say I wanted to make, turn this into thirds and I wanted three books, then I would just make sure I had a staple at the top of wherever I'm cutting. And there you go, you have your little books and here's where I like to put my title and all my headings or subtitles, it's completely up to you. And you flip and it's perfectly cute. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me on Craft Clip for Kids. Remember, be creative and have fun.